Sagittarius, welcome to your May 2021 general reading. Thanks for joining me. This is for Sun and Rising Sign Sagittarians. General energies, guys. If love pops up, we'll talk about it, but I'm going more for the general energies here. So it's for Sun and Rising Signs. If you're cross watching, of course, it could be a Sagittarius. Resonate as them that you are dealing with. Okay, Sagittarius, let's take a look here for the month of May. Just finishing up your shuffling here, Sagittarius. All right, let's get started. Before I put down the cards, I'm going to pull some oracles. We'll get a oracle from the shadows and light. A general message for Sagittarius, please, for the month of May. Spirit guides. Okay, we've got a flipper. Okay. Interesting energy. We've got Fairy of the Divine Hand here. This is a intoxicating energy, a distorted view, overindulgence. Okay, well, let's see where that's going. Sagittarius, have you been burning the candle at both ends here? Let's have a look. General energy around the general energy around Sagittarius. Okay, we have shifts happen. Stabilize your energy fields. Okay, all right. There may be an energy here of I get a a feeling of calming down, calming the energy. Let's see what is your spirit animal for the month of May, please, Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius' spirit animal for the month of May? Sagittarius spirit animal for the month of May, please, spirit guides. Okay, we have the sea otter. Transformation. Okay, let's see. We'll put down these cards. <coughs> What's going on for my fellow Sagittarians here for May 2021? General energies for Sagittarius. Let's take a look, guys. We've got the Sun in reverse. Okay, we've got the Fool. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We've got the Chariot. Five of Pentacles. Five of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse. High Priestess. Two of Pentacles. And nine of swords. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this, guys. It feels like a transitional kind of energy that I'm picking up around you, Sagittarius, in which you're moving on uh, from something that was uh, I get it as a feeling of uh, uh, loneliness a feeling of not uh, it, it's not scarcity it, it just feels like not being included a feeling of not being included uh, being excluded okay it feels a little bit like um, you're trying to decide on where it feels like travel guys uh, where you want to go uh, it could be a, a, a trip of course for others of you it's something more permanent you're deciding whether or not to move whether to stay put whether where you belong you're checking in with yourself here and trying to decide well where is it exactly where i feel like i belong truly yeah now, I do feel like you're a bit spoiled for choice, Sagittarius. I feel like you have uh, you have some options. I'm getting that. It doesn't feel like you have to do it for money either. I don't feel like you're moving for a job or anything like that. This feels like more as a sense of where do you belong? Where do you feel like you fit at this stage in your life? Uh, with this energy of shifts happen, it feels to me like 
when it comes to stabilizing your energy field it is about where you are your physical location more than anything yeah there's energy around this of change and nothing being carved in stone so I do feel like you are probably changing your mind uh, quite a bit here about moves and decisions on moves now cosmic forces are at, are at work to help in tumultuous times in this painting the great cosmic mind is calming down the magnetic fields of the earth everything works according to the natural law of the universe okay so there is an energy here of calming your energy fields working in greater harmony with change attuning to them so that you can go through change with more ease more grace less jarring kind of energy and i also feel that around the sea otter energy funnily enough uh, because it is water so it feels like that allowing things uh, not setting yeah it feels like not committing to one particular thing because you're likely to change your mind Sagittarius is what I'm getting from spirit the sea otter transformation is a true constant if we allow it we can change our future and learn from our past we should only try to transform ourselves of course and not anyone else because that's going against a person's free will yeah okay so there is an energy of change and change is afoot but you're likely to one on yeah i get don't commit to anything that's my spirit guide saying that don't commit to anything just yet sagittarius because you're likely to change your mind or you're likely to change change course yeah i feel like things are very changeable around you a lot uh, there's a lot of factors here that are changing so if on one day you decide on a course of events something could happen that the next day that you say you're thinking oh gosh well I didn't I wasn't expecting that I didn't think that it was kind of like a, a miraculous kind of energy I'm getting that it, it feels like something that you weren't expecting uh, something that you weren't expecting comes in okay all right and that's going to shift your perspective shift your viewpoint and shift your whole what you're going to do interesting Sagittarius you know it seems like May is going to be fluctuations ups and downs now what's going on with this here because this feels like um, <laughs> you know when we think of the dis a distorted view there's something here that you can't see or you can't see clearly or you don't see yet okay let's see what that is what is this fairy of the divine hand please for Sagittarius the wheel of fortune yeah some kind of destined change here something's coming in for you it's going to be quite unexpected it's probably the last thing you would ever think happens happens okay so any kind of decision that you make today i feel is based on a distorted view because you can't see this coming okay let's see if we can get any idea what this might be for sagittarius with this wheel of fortune which of course is jupiterian energy your ruler and we have the two of swords and the judgment yeah it's all about changing changing your your mind changing your decisions gosh yeah wait hold back don't commit to anything Sagittarius don't commit to anything long term I mean you can make short term plans obviously but uh, when it comes to long term plans gosh I, I get you thinking you know what I was on that track but because something miraculous happens I feel like you're going to be changing tracks here Sagittarius now there's some stress about this let's see this nine of swords what's this about this nine of swords for Sagittarius knight of cups in reverse 
Okay. Temperance. And one more. And the Six of Wands. Okay, I feel like this is... Um, someone's going to propose something to you. Seems to be about a move, guys. Or a, a trip. Either you going towards them or they are coming towards you. And this is uh, stressful. This information coming into you is stressful. Okay. Let's see, what is this uh, High Priestess energy? The Tower. That's that unexpected event that I was picking up. Something... Something that you're not... Okay, let's see. The Emperor here and the King of Wands. Who is this? It, it seems like there's somebody here, uh, Sagittarius, that you're not going to expect it is your divine counterpart. We've got the King of Wands and the Emperor. So whoever this is, they may have a lot of uh, fire in their chart, but there's certainly someone who is has made some kind of decision about you, Sagittarius, and they seem to be coming in here with a proposal about a move or about some kind of change in your life. And it's major. It's not just something small here with this Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. This is major. I mean, this is life-changing. This is life-changing decision here, Sagittarius. So uh, I feel that you're going to have to uh, step back and have a think about this. Now, looking at the center, we've got the Five of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups in the reverse. This feels to me like going from having seemingly being on the outer, I get, I get being on the outskirts or being, being excluded, suddenly now you're on everyone's list of invitations. Okay, that's interesting. So it seems like you're getting a lot of invitations to visit or people wanting to come and see you and yeah. That's interesting guys because I feel like in the recent past you've uh, you've lacked that or you felt you've lacked that. You felt like you were not included. Uh, there's an energy here of uh, maybe feeling a little bit lonely or just feeling like you didn't have anyone uh, to knock around with, anyone who wanted to be around you uh, for any length of time. Uh, for some of you, you felt out of place. You may have even thought, you know what, maybe I'll just move. Mm, for some of you, you didn't like, uh, you felt excluded around the location that you were living. Uh, there was some kind of energy there that I'm picking up. You may have decided to move, to move back home, uh, uh, to move to somewhere familiar, to move to somewhere where a lot of people know you because you felt isolated, uh, lonely. But then this uh, sudden, sudden unexpected event comes in. Somebody, uh, it changes everything. This, uh, this divine counterpart of yours coming in. It changes everything, Sagittarius, and then you're going to have this major decision to make about whether you want to stay in this place where you are or make some kind of move, a big, big dramatic change in your life, Sagittarius, is what I'm getting. A major, major change. Yeah, so if you're feeling, if you're feeling left out, if you're feeling uh, a bit lonely, if you, uh, that's going to change quite rapidly. I feel like uh, you're going to go from this feeling of exclusion to this sudden feeling of now everybody wants you on their, their invitation list. Okay, that's really interesting. Uh, let's get a card on that. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Spirit Guides? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? 
fool Sagittarius. Why is the ace? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm getting this feeling here of wherever you were thinking about moving to, it can wait. Or you may have to wait a long period of time anyway to move there. It could be because of travel restrictions, of course, or some other reason why you can't get there immediately. So there's an energy here of having made a choice, a decision, to take a journey, to move, to travel to somewhere, which I feel is familiar. It's, it's not somewhere new. I feel it's like um, going back to somewhere where uh, you felt at home, uh, where you felt included, uh, where people, it's familiar surroundings. That opportunity is still there and it will still be there, Spirit is saying. That, that opportunity will still be there in the future. Okay. So even if you can't do it now, I feel like you, you yeah, it feels like being, mm, for some of you, you will decide to, to go on this, uh, a different journey with this divine counterpart of yours. Uh, for others of you, you may just put this other situation on the back burner for a while, while you make a decision about this uh, this proposal that's coming in, Sagittarius. Now, of course, it could be a proposal of marriage, but it may not be, guys. I don't want to get your hopes up here. It may be a proposal to move in together, a proposal to uh, buy a house together, uh, something like that, guys. So, let's see, what is the sun in reverse for Sagittarius? What is the sun in reverse? Okay, you know, it's not bad. Yeah, it's these invitations. Uh, suddenly you go, it's, it's going to feel quite um, intoxicating. It's like you're going from one thing to right to another, a uh, feeling of having, uh, I do get no invitations here, to suddenly I get all of this social. So it's, it may be because uh, opportunities are opening up around you, wherever you're living, Sagittarius. Now, when we talk about intoxication here, I don't see it as anything that is unhealthy. Why? Because the Three of Cups is in the upright. I feel like you've got a good head on your shoulders. You're not going to take things to an extreme. But you are going to enjoy it. I get that. Enjoy uh, these invitations, uh, enjoy some fun times. Uh, if you've been working too hard, Sagittarius, you're going to take things a little bit slower in the work situation and uh, get out there and have a little bit more fun. Experience um, some more playtime is what I'm getting. Uh, now, while you're doing that, I also feel there's, there's this person here that comes in, and um, that may be that may put an end to all of these invitations. But it will it will bring stability. Okay, shifts happen. So it seems like there's a lot of shifting energy in May. You start off with this energy of you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of where I'm, I'm where I'm at, nothing seems to be working out for me, um, I'm getting out of here as soon as I can, let me plan my, my, my next trip, let me plan some travel, okay. Then, suddenly, I get this energy of things are opening up. You become more socially uh, out there, more I get visible. You know, there's an energy here of being visible, experiencing uh, some fun times with friends, um, possibly family, but I, I mainly get it as friends, acquaintances, a social, a social life. And that is something that feels intoxicating to you, um, could border on overindulgence uh, for some. 
but then I get that shifting again back to a more stable energy when someone comes in here and makes you an offer. It could be a, a love partnership or someone who is uh, offering you something uh, that is a stabilizing energy, okay, that grounds you. And it's something that you're not expecting. Guys, so it seems like there's a lot of shifting energy in May. It's going to be like a little bit of a roller coaster ride because from one day to the next it's like you've made up your mind to do to do one thing and then the next day something happens and you, you say okay I'll do that and then maybe a week later something else happens and say okay maybe I'll do that so there's a lot of energy here of you know what before you make any big major decisions here about anything let this energy stabilize uh, you may have to wait till after May my spirit guide is saying because during May it's not the best time to make decisions uh, for you because things are going to be very up in the air uh, Sagittarius absolutely I want to get a card on that uh, shifting energy there those uh, major shifts it does feel oh gosh that's uh, a lot of cards but let's uh, Let's see here, guys. I'm going to take the Knight of Wands, yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like your movements are going to be very up and down. There's going to be a lot of people, a lot more activity. People are going to want to come and see you. You're going to want to go out with them. A lot of shifting energy, and I get shifting movements to shifting ideas, shifting uh, ideas of where you where you're going, where you want to live. Uh, lots and lots and lots of movement there. Not only physical movement, but movement in the mind as well, because I feel like you're uh, you're going to find it a little bit hard to rest or to sleep because there's a lot going on. So if you can take some moments to, to rest, to calm your mind, to calm your energy down and don't do anything that is going to be too rash or spontaneous or, or act in the spur of the moment. Uh, this month is going to be one of those months where people are going to want you to do that but in your best interest is to hold back and, and, and wait and think before making any commitments to anyone that is long term. Okay, let's take a look at the sea otter for Sagittarius please, the sea otter, this uh, transformation energy, page of cups, okay, sea otter. We also have the world card and the seven of swords Mm. I, I get somebody coming to visit you I'm not sure who this is but I feel it's different to this person guys I feel there's at least um, three people here I feel there's three people there's somebody who is a friend who wants to come and visit you from afar Okay, you've got that person who may be, I've got the sea otter here, they may have to travel over quite some distance, including a sea or an ocean. Then I've got this person here who seems to be coming out of the woodwork offering you some kind of a, a major, like they're laying some major decision in your, in your lap here, uh, Sagittarius, this uh, King of Wands Emperor who I feel is your divine counterpart. Uh, that, that's a very strong connection. This other person here, it, it feels like a, a friend, someone who's reaching out to you from afar that wants to come and visit. Okay, uh, you may know that person from your past. Uh, you seem to be familiar with them in some capacity. And um, this third energy, I feel, is something that you're putting on the back burner. Let's see if we can find out what that third energy is here. What's that third energy that I'm picking up, Spirit Guides? Okay. 
Yeah, it's someone that you're putting on the back burner, the Seven of uh, Pentacles. It's something there, it may be the decision. It may be a decision to move. For others of you, it's it's a person uh, that... Hmm. Let me see. Yeah. You've got choices. You seem to be at a major crossroads. I feel like you've got a lot of opportunity here. You've got somebody who lives at a distance, who seems to be interested in you. Then you've got this divine counterpart coming in and I get somebody else that you've put on the back burner, uh, Sagittarius, whoever that might be. There's an energy of waiting, waiting. And of course, you're waiting to see how the energy stabilizes before you make any plans here. Because my goodness, uh, this feels like, um, gosh, it feels a little bit like Grand Central Station here. A lot of comings and goings. A lot of comings and goings. Yeah, lots of invitations, lots of social activity, people visiting you, you going to see them. Oh, and in the back of your mind, you're, you're trying to decide on what to do next in your life. Well, at the moment, Spirit is saying, you know what, let this pan out, let, let's see how it goes. Uh, don't make any major choice here, Sagittarius. Let's get a card from the uh, Spellcasting Oracle for my Saggies. Okay. But certainly any feeling of isolation or feeling left out, uh, that, that's, that's going to be gone, uh, Sagittarius. Uh, things are much more improved. So making any decision from a place of lack, of scarcity, is not going to serve you because uh, I feel that you're going to very soon have a lot more opportunity in front of you. Sagittarius, what is the message for Sagittarius, please, Spirit Guides? What is the message for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to hear? Message for Sagittarius. Okay. Answers. Well, yeah. It uh, looks like you're searching for answers. Absolutely. Now, okay. Trust, your trust as you journey. Okay. As the answers shine forth, you'll find all the advice and knowledge that you need at this time. There's no need to seek the approval of anyone else, for the answers are all around and within you. So keep a keen lookout for signs and signals from the natural and mystical world. As messages come through and um, show you some signs or synchronicities to point the way. Okay. Let me... I'll do the, uh, the spell, spell incantation with this one, guys. Take a book, such as a dictionary, on a Sunday during a waxing crescent moon and say, No solution to the task, details hidden, who to ask. Wisdom's found deep inside, higher self's the perfect guide. Question posed upon closed book. Open up and take a look. Random words for one to gauge, answer found now on that page. The page the book is open at will reveal wisdom and the answer you're looking for. Now say, Gratefully I accept the magic of you, of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendence, so mote it be. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Uh, if guys, I mean, uh, obviously the answer is going to come to you uh, by a visible sign during the month of May, and it's going to be very clear. It's going to be very clear. And I feel it has something to do with this, this person here, this uh, King of Wands Emperor. I'm going to leave it there for you, Sagittarius, and wish you all the very best. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights gypsy at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy shop and purchase directly there. 
and uh, the link for that is also down below please like share subscribe leave me a comment down below love to hear from you guys and if you're interested in joining my channel there are ways that you can get early access by clicking on the join button below or you can go and look in the box below for more information wishing you the best with this Sagittarius uh, thanks for watching please do take care and bye for now